from the person who receives that advice, that counsel, perhaps William could share with us what he, what he felt and how this impacted upon his uh, probably decreasing sense of self-esteem. Sorry, it's William. I'm confused I haven't had my medication today. <laughs> William, how do you feel about this? Well, I've um, you know, been listening to what's been said about the, around the water cooler, and I think that woman from HR is a hard-nosed bitch. Sorry. We've just lost half our clients, thank you. <laughs> no, uh, I was very surprised. Well, I was surprised and I wasn't surprised. I, 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 when it was pointed out what wasn't happening, I was, I was very uh, disturbed. But, but uh, I knew that things weren't working out. I knew that this mask that I had up, I couldn't keep going with. And um, I wanted to talk about it, but I found it very difficult to talk about. You know, as a manager, you're supposed to be on top of things, you're supposed to sort things out by yourself. And um, not being in control is, is admitting you're, you're, you're a failure. And if you admit you're a failure, you're not gonna be a manager anymore. So I, I, I found it, um, very, very difficult, but it was good to, I, I knew that I couldn't hide it any longer, that there were issues around the place. And so it was good to get that, um, it, it, it was a relief to, to hear it being talked about, but I still don't know the answers. And finding out the answers can be incredibly difficult, but from, certainly from what uh, William has said to us, he's got an insight that something isn't right for him at this time.